you thinking about feeding your dog a raw food diet? If you are, then let me teach you how to do it today. Alrighty guys, so what I'm doing here now is I'm just going to open this bag of chicken up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin this chicken. Now, I don't really believe that the dogs need any of the extra calories from this skin, so that's why I don't give it to them. They don't need it. Bella's already getting way too big already. Go ahead and get rid of that. And what I'll do, go ahead and open these bags up. Toss that in. There's one down. And the key I found to this, guys, is if you're messing with this kind of chicken and you want to skin it, you've got to do it while it's fresh. Because if you try to thaw or try to freeze it and then thaw it out, it's just it's a big pain in the butt. It's it's really just more of a mess than anything. So if you can do anything, try to make sure you deal with it fresh. Well, another big thing, guys, is make sure you wash your hands before you do all this and try to keep it in one contained area so you can have an easier time of cleaning it up. Because cleanup is a big, uh, big thing. Alrighty. So what this chicken is, is basically every single night, each one of the dogs gets one of these. They equate about to a pound for each one of these, which Broly needs about 1.2 pounds of meat a day and Bella needs 3.3 pounds of meat a day because she's only seven months old. So most of Broly's meat will actually come from this. He just gets a little bit extra, but Bella, we've got to feed her a bunch. So like this one, that's probably Bella's. Dude, throw it in that bag, sit it over there. Just keep skinning. And what I found is, you know, one of these bags of chicken that costs about six, seven bucks. Um, that's right about a week. Feed them once a day. Yeah. All right. Almost there. Pull that back. Pull all that skin off. Toss it in the bag. Looks like I need two more bags. Yeah, so like I said guys, a bag of these has about 10 in it. They're about a, a pound a piece. If you have one dog, this should feed them easily in a week, probably even a week and a half. If you're feeding two dogs, it'll probably last five, six days. Just depends. Depends on how big they are, how much they need. Alright, so that was the last chicken leg. Let's see if I can open the bag up. Alright, so the chicken is gone. Next thing we want to do is wash our hands really well. We really won't have to mess with this chicken anymore. We're just gonna be adding a few things to it. Alrighty. Well, now that the chicken is done. What I like to feed them is like a little bit of a treat is pork fat back. So what I'll do is just open this up. And one package of this is two sixty three bucks. So what I do is try to throw like two slices in there a piece. So they both get a little bit of something. something. 
trying to knock them. some of that salt off. I don't need all that salt. And I just now switched over to these bad guys, the other bowls I was using. I had to kind of just, kind of a pain in the butt more than anything really. Uh, once you freeze them more than a few times, they come really brittle and when you open them from being frozen, they just snap in half and it's, it's really just a pain in the butt. That's enough for the pork fat back. So from there what I like to do is I go in and add sardines to them all. I'll put like one on. And I don't know why Brawly loves these sardines. He's big on these, but he's not big on the herring fillets. I tried to feed it to him one time. Just not a huge fan. All right, so there's one down. We're trying to go through these and do the same thing. And once you've done this a few times, guys, it just it goes by really fast. You don't really have to think about it that much. The only kind of thing that throws you for a loop is when you go to the store and they don't have the exact thing you're looking for. Or, uh... He's ready to eat. Because I'm doing this before he gets to eat. Yeah, so I think I got sardines for all the two days. You're only supposed to feed it like two or three times a week. And all the days I give him sardines, I tend to give him the raw egg as well. Sardines are done. Time to add the next ingredient. Good old Greek yogurt. What I'll do is I'll give them one big old soup and that never done. And that meal is done. Scoop and done. So you are going to have to see what happens with these bags guys. You know, I didn't pay a bunch for them, so I'm not expecting them to last that long, but I got a bunch. So that's all that matters.
Alright guys, we want to wash our hands one more time at least. That way we can pick up the camera and talk to you guys. Alrighty guys, so just a quick recap, what we did is we put a chicken leg, thigh and quarter in each one of these bags. We also added 3.75 ounces of sardines in. We added two strips of fat back, as well as a scoop of Greek yogurt. So with all of that, that's done for the night meal. So now we're gonna have to move on to the meal for the morning time, which is a little bit more difficult just because the puppies they weigh different amounts and they're two different points of their lives. So Bella's gonna get a lot more food than Brawley. Like I said, Bella's gonna get 3.3 pounds of meat a day. Brawley only gets 1.2. So let's head it over there and we'll get that other food going. All right guys, now we're on to the fun part. This is where we're dividing it up based on their weight. So what we have here is chicken hearts and gizzards. And like I said earlier, I'm going to have to feed my dogs two different amounts just because they weigh different and they're at different points of their life. So Bella, who is a 7th month old puppy, is going to have to get 3.3 pounds of food a day as opposed to my 18th month old dog who's only going to get 1.2 pounds a day. So in the morning time, Bella's going to get around a pound, full pound of these chicken hearts and gizzards, whereas Brawley's only going to get 4 ounces. So what I like to do is I go ahead just open these bad boys up. And what I'll do guys, I'll leave a link in the description just so y'all can go and get some of these resources yourself. I know it helped me a lot when I was just starting out. Um, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, easy to find resources. So you really have to go and do your research. So I think helping y'all out would be awesome with that. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. Alrighty, so we got full pound right here for Bella. So we're going to start with Bella's food. We're going to go ahead and try to make like five days worth for her. There's one pound down. That's nine ounces. All right, let's go ahead. And I mean, you can wear gloves while you're doing this, guys. I really don't care, you know. Touch dead things before is not that big a deal. I mean, if you took anatomy class, if you touch dead things, just make sure you're cleaning your area up very good. You don't want to get sick. You don't want your dog to get sick. So just be cognizant about that. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do this because it's dirty or your dog's going to get sick or you're going to get contaminated with something. Because that's not necessarily true, but you know. What, what am I doing? I did not even like that. See, you guys gonna start talking and I'm not even paying attention. So that's 10 ounces. Let's move on. kind of bought Walmart all, out of all the chicken hearts and gizzards they had so if you go there and there's none there it's probably because of me because you know sometimes I go in there it's hard to find so when I can stock up I do stock up all right so there's another pound so I actually might be able to get at least a full week out of this for Bill we'll see about Broly he's been getting a little chunky I haven't been feeding him a little too much so you might have to suffer with just a little longer meal. All right. And I don't know if you can hear him, but he's in there whining because he can smell me making his food. 14. One pound. All right, so I already got five days worth of bell. That's at least. Broly only getting four ounces. I can make at least four or five days worth of just one of those. Alright, so that's fine.
this. And honestly, this is the slowest part about doing all this, guys. Like, I could really be done with this in about 20 minutes if I didn't weigh it out. But you really need to weigh it out. Just so you're not overheating them. Because if you feed them too much or too little, especially in those early years, they can have really bad bone problems, especially with calcium uh, deficiency. And that's not what you want. You don't want your dogs to be growing, growing funny. They already act funny enough as it is. stuff. So what I have here now are back ribs. Some I throw in there. Give a little bit more you know, raw meat as well as some bone because they need bone in their diet. Otherwise our poop is going to be runny. And nobody likes runny poop. Alright, so these I just toss into pretty much each one of the bags. They're not big. Probably about 2-3 inches a piece. Something your dog will definitely love you for. Just put it in there. Just do it. Don't even ask questions. I'm gonna go ahead and screw one more color because this one has more in it. So the same deal with the fat bag this time I'm only gonna throw one in there because I'm running out. They don't really need this, but it's just some little extra you can give them. Alright, that's enough fat back for Bella. So now we're gonna go on to the other thing, which are chicken paws. It's just chicken feet. Just to add a little bit more extra bone to it, especially with her getting so much meat. She's gonna need some to offset that. So you can grab these, and they are a little floppy guys. I mean, they're chicken feet, or what it is. Go ahead and throw two in each one of these bags for her. So we get two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Especially when you don't want to have to prep all this food on the fly like I've done before. That can be a hassle if you want to prep it for one to two days at a time. It's, it just feels like you're defeating the purpose of it. You should just go out and just buy it for them fresh. Alright, so we're going to seal these bad boys up. I'm going to set these off to the side. And I'm going to get to work on Broly Silo. Well, the bro's gotta eat, cause he's fat. 
because he's a fatty. Alright, so the same deal is going to go with Broly again, guys. I'm only feeding him four ounces of meat a day because he's getting a little big. He don't eat that much meat. There's four ounces right there. Honestly, I might have enough for like two weeks to feed him. There's one. There's enough. I don't know if you can tell just by this how much less he's getting the herd, but uh, four times the amount less. There. There's another four ounce. Alright, so that one's done. Let's go on to these. Open these bad boys up wherever I put the scissors. Scoop and scissors. Yeah, I'm really hoping these uh, bags turn out well, guys, because I don't want to have to go buy more of those plastic containers, because they are super duper expensive. I don't know why Tupperware is so expensive. It is, and it's a pain in the butt, especially when you want to prep raw dog food. Let me give four point nine on that day, just because I'm feeling a little, a little generous. Yep, he's gonna have so much more food prep than she will, but you know what? I can deal with that. I can deal with it, guys. Let me tell you what, I can deal with it. What ends up happening is Bella eats all of her food and then she eats Broly's food because she's a piggy bank. Alright, there's another four ounces. Gosh darn guys, we're going to get good at measuring out four ounces at a time because that's who we are. Alright. They're perfect right on the freaking money, four ounces. I'm going to need some more bags. here and grab some more bags so this might be one of the last one three ounces 4.5 yeah okay so this one might be a little bit over it's probably gonna be like seven or eight unless i can make two of them so, uh, 6.1 whatever we'll give it to them so feeling so generous today guys so generous Alright, so we're going to do the same thing with him with the chicken paws, guys. We're going to try to give him one a piece, but that's realistically not going to happen because we don't have enough. So we're just giving him what we have, because he doesn't really like chicken food anyway. But, he will get some more pork back because he's a fat back boy. Alright guys, well, we are done with Broly, so after all is said and done, let me, oh wait, did not even see this, I had lied to you guys, we forgot to put the pork ribs in there. Go ahead and throw those in there, one, two, three, four, don't drop, five, okay. Take that back. We are now finally done prepping for all these food food. So let's count how many days of food he has for the morning. So I'll seal it up. Eight, 
10, 11 days of food prep for this week, which is awesome. It means I don't have to go spend any more money at this door right now. So, with that, guys, I'm going to set all this crap on the side. And what you've got to do is make sure you wash your hands. And then what I like to do whenever I'm done is I go back behind, take the trash out, make sure I bleach the sink. I don't want anybody saying they got sick from me or anybody getting sick because it could have been me. So try to eliminate all the risk of contamination as possible. Wash your hands a lot, guys. And with that, we will see you next time.